Hey guys, James Walkup with turnkeyinvest.com here to bring you another great property in Memphis, Tennessee. This month is off to a great start. We have a ton of investors reaching out to us. The economy is strong. We've come out of the coronavirus in a great way across the nation, but in Memphis, Tennessee, people are working. So many people are de deemed essential from FedEx, St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. Every truck driver is still working and that's my renter. The workforce of America is who I rent homes to. So we're collecting rents and everything is in full force here in Memphis and we've got more investors than ever reaching out to us about houses. So today I wanna to share with you this little house on Kenosha. So this is in Southeast Memphis and from turnkeyinvest.com, you're able to go on and see each of the properties in detail. So you'll have pictures at the top left you click the button right here that says reserve this property to start the process if you're ready to go forward with the house. I've got a map of the house, so right there, so you don't have to go to other sources, you know, Bing or Google Maps or whatever, it's all right here for you. You can even get a street view. You can get the crime map right here. The price of this house is $95,000 and it's gonna rent for nine fifty dollars a month. That is that 1% rule that so many people are looking for on a fully renovated house. Sure, you can reach that number on a house with an old roof and an old HVAC. This house has brand new roof, brand new HVAC, fully renovated, brought to 2020 standards to attract that good tenant who's gonna sign a two year lease and stay long term. So a 13.75% cash on cash return is strong and your five year projected um, net income on a property like this is right at $16,000. If you click the button that says due diligence vault, that's gonna take you into more in-depth data to show you where we got to those numbers. If you click the button here that says back to available properties, it takes you back to look at other properties. So let's dig into that diligence vault. One of the first things I'm gonna always give you is multiple, multiple sets of pictures before, during, after. I wanna tell the story of this house. Super clean house, hard surface floors throughout, uh, white painted cabinets in the kitchen, super clean bathroom, shiny hard, hardwood floors. This house is beautiful and will attract that type of tenant that you're looking for. A detailed scope of work is so important so that you know exactly the work done on this house. And in the bottom right hand corner is where you're gonna get the most critical data for the big ticket items I call them. The, H, the air conditioning system, brand new. The water heater in this house, great water heater, only five years old. The furnace, brand new, and the roof is new. The next thing in the diligence vault I would draw your attention to is comparable sales. As a buyer, most of you are out of state or out of country, you're probably gonna wanna know, is this house worth $95,000? And that's where this data comes in so handy. So the first thing I draw your attention to is what's called a three up report. The three up report is gonna show your house and three other similar homes in the area that have recently sold and what they sold for. So down at the bottom of that document, I would direct you to the map. So this map is showing that the first house is you know three or four houses away and the house two and three are in the same neighborhood. So right there in the same vicinity, and these houses are selling for 92,000, 104,000, 98,000, and they're similar properties. The third comparable sale, I think, is the same floor plan. <laughs> you know, you always see that the home builder will have a set of 10 or 12 floor plans. Um, that's pretty good data when you see that third one, and it sold at $98,500. We're asking 95. So that's pretty darn good. Um, I wanna leave a little meat on the bone for you guys when possible. We bought this house right. We did a good renovation. We're gonna attract that good tenant, rinse and repeat. The next thing in the diligence vault <coughs> is a financial pro forma. This will give you a breakdown of what you should expect the first year of owning this home after all expenses. So in expenses, you should be accounting for a vacancy, future repairs, even though this house is fully renovated, insurance on the house in case it were to burn to the ground or something crazy happened like that, your principal and interest payment to the bank, we have four preferred lenders. If you need their information, reach out to me and my team. It's also on the website, turnkeyinvest.com. Paying foundation property management monthly to be your boots on the ground. Your operations team who's going to take care of all the details after the point of purchase. 
8% of the collected rent is what we charge. That's listed down here in your total expenses. And then lastly, of course, Uncle Sam's gonna get his money, $80 a month on a house like this. That's a great uh, tax rate to be on a house with a 1% rule, $95,000 purchase price, 950 rent. Everybody's asking me for it on a fully renovated property. Here it is. So that'll give us a net operating income after all expenses of $7,600. Now, what is it gonna take you cash out of pocket to buy this house? $23,200. And where did that money come from? That's a 20% down payment plus closing cost. If we take the net operating income and divide that small number into the larger number, which is your cash out of pocket to purchase a house like this, that's where we get the term cash on cash return. And that's what most of my investors are asking about because the question is, okay, James, how much cash do I need to pull out of savings? And what is my net return on that annually? Wow, 13%. And we haven't even discussed tax savings and the benefits of owning real estate above and beyond the initial return. The next thing in the diligence vault is uh, a more detailed uh, crime map, a sample copy of all the purchase and sale agreement that you would be purchasing with me. A diligent investor would ask me these questions up front. Tell me about crime in the area. Let me see a copy of the uh, purchase and sale agreement before we get into this relationship. I'd want to read through it verbatim. Maybe send it to my attorney to, to view. This contract is written by the Tennessee Association of Realtors and protects you fully. It protects you to say that the house must appraise. It says that it is subject to a home inspection by a third party home inspector that's gonna give you a non-biased opinion of the condition of this property. And of course, that you have to, the house has to be termite free. So it's very user friendly. A lot of people in my industry use their own contract to make it very seller friendly. Well, this is a contract written by the Tennessee Association of Realtors. I feel it's like the right one to use because it protects everybody fully. You've got a, a turnkey invest handbook. So this is just telling you more in detail about who James is, who the team is that make, makes this happen. Um, I tell people all the time, we're not doing anything new and inventive in real estate. We're doing basic real estate consistently day over day. And from that, we get a very predictable outcome. We have great houses and areas people want to live in. That's key. Fully renovated, which attracts a good tenant and it makes my job as a property manager a lot easier when you have that. Um, you have your property data sheet. This property data sheet will show you um, every bit of information that I have available to me as a real estate broker in the state of Tennessee, including tax information, exact tax, tax information, not some estimate, um, square footage of the home from multi, multiple parties, uh, is the house in a flood zone? The answer should be X, minimal flood zone, no flood zone all that good data at your fingertips. And then uh, comparable sales, we already went over that, and photos, lots of photos. It's my job to be your boots on the ground in Memphis, Tennessee, and bring these houses to you virtually. Just yesterday, we were at a home FaceTiming with a client who's getting ready to go to, into closing. He had some questions. He said, tell me about this. Tell me about another part of the house. You know what, it'd be easier. Can we schedule a time? One of my team members went to the house, Bought out his iPhone, we discussed it there. That's one way I can bring Memphis to you virtually. Let's talk about property management because that is really the key that makes all the different things go round and round. Foundation Property Management was formed to take care of my turnkey investors who are purchasing houses with us. And our motto is to manage your properties as if I own them myself. So every decision made in management of your home, placing of tenant, whether repair should be done or not, and if it should be charged to the tenant or the owner, or if it should be covered under warranty. So we take this very seriously. We know that if we don't do an amazing job for you on the back end, property management, being your boots on the ground, your operations team here in town, you're not gonna come back for that 15th, 20th property, because I'm looking for a decade or longer relationship with each of you investors. I don't want anybody to buy one house from me and stop. I want a relationship with guys as we're guys and gals as we're bringing together a portfolio of homes that's going to produce results for you. If you've got questions, please reach out to me and the team. We're very accessible. We answer the phone and we get back to you uh, with answers and real good data, real time. 
So thank you for, so much for everything you're doing for us, making this a record year. This month alone, we'll put $15 million worth of properties into people's portfolios. That's a big deal. So thank you for your support. Have a good day.